Hi Mary, Tim here. Like I said in the email, I run a business uh, based in Encinitas helping other business owners improve their websites to get more traffic and convert that traffic into paying customers. Um, so what I'd like to do is just take a couple minutes and show you just a few easy changes you can make to the site that will end up in do some more business. Uh, so what I'd like to start off with is your homepage here. And the first thing I notice when we land on the homepage is that there's no contact information uh, at the top of the page. So um, my first recommendation would be to put your phone number at the top somewhere, maybe um, just above this picture here or over by the social media links over here. Uh, would make it big, bold, and noticeable. So as soon as someone lands on your site, they're immediately going to see your phone number and be able to reach you without having to navigate through the site too much. Um, along with that, I would also recommend somewhere on the home page, preferably near the top, putting a uh, instant quote form. So people are able to, um, I see you've got the free in-home consultation link here, but if you allow people to fill out the form on the home page so they can enter their name, address, or their name, phone number, uh, maybe their email, and a little bit about what they're looking for, and then they submit that, then you're able to reach out to them. And uh, that's just because some people aren't ready to commit to uh, sending you a phone call as soon as they're on the site. Maybe they're shopping around and maybe uh, they're not ready to uh, be in contact immediately, but you still want to gather their info. So at some point you can reach out to them. Um, moving on, another recommendation I would make is uh, to write some more content for your homepage. So uh, right now you've got this checklist over here and then uh, this little kind of about the business section in the middle. Uh, what I would recommend though is just writing some authoritative relevant content to all the services you offer. Uh, maybe just take the services page and kind of rewrite some of that content, put it on the home page. And the reason for that is uh, when Google looks over your website, it's actually just giving most of the attention to the home page and reading the home page to try and figure out exactly what your site's all about. So having some writing on the home page about the different services you offer and the, the areas that you um, cover is going to show Google exactly uh, what your business is about and then it'll be more likely to show your business to people who are searching for what you offer. Um, speaking of Google, um, being uh, having more content on your site is going to allow you to be listed on the first page more, which is what we want. Because these guys, when you search for electrician Carlsbad, these guys on the f in the first few results here, they're getting a ton of business. They're getting phone calls and emails every day uh, from people who are searching for electricians in the area just by being listed on this first page. So um, that's a lot of business that can be redirected towards you if we just get you landed on this first page. So content is one way to do that. Another uh, important factor in getting some visibility in the search engines is having a website that's mobile friendly. Um, right now, if we take a look at your site and we uh, close down the site, if we just change the size to uh, the size of a cell phone, get this out of here, you can see that uh, your site is kind of difficult to navigate because this is what it looks like on a cell phone so someone's gonna have to scroll back and forth to read it and they're not gonna be able to find your contact information very easily um, so it's just not very user friendly and another reason that it's important to have a uh, mobile friendly site is uh, for search engine results Google actually uh, gives favor to sites that are mobile friendly and I ran your site, I took your URL and ran it through a test that actually, uh, Google makes itself. So I just uh, analyzed the site really quickly. And as you can see, this is what your site looks uh, like from a phone. And um, it, Google's telling you it's not mobile friendly. The reason, uh, the other reason we don't like that is because uh, ba basically Google's putting a flag on your page and it's saying, okay, this one. Uh, this one's not going to work because it's not mobile friendly, so we're going to hide it in the search results. And uh, basically that just means that's, that's business that you're missing out on, which uh, if we get you 
upgraded to a mobile friendly site, that'll be much more uh, hits on your site and more paying customers in your business. So if you've got a web guy, I would definitely uh, recommend making some of those changes. It's also some uh, things you can do yourself if you don't. And if you're interested in learning more or having any of these things done for you, uh, like I said, I'm local here in Encinitas and I'd love to help you out. So what I'll do is I'll um, post, the, uh, or post my contact information right below the video and hopefully uh, I'll hear back from you. Thanks, Mary. Have a great day.